Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. As you may know, there are several ways to trace an object in Illustrator. And although I have showed you some, there are more to reveal. I've showed you how to overlay shapes to give value to an object, which provides a nice effect. However, you could also make use of your gradient tool for a smoother transition. To have an absolutely perfect trace, you might use the mesh tool. To learn more on this method, follow the link to the video. Start by tracing an area with your pen tool, then select your gradient option in your toolbar beneath your fill color. Now go to the gradient panel on the right. Enter the value of the angle in which you want the gradient to appear. By adjusting your sliders, you may achieve the effect that you want. Change the color or value of your gradient by double clicking on a slider. Your gradient will automatically be set to grayscale. If you want color, click the top right button of that window and select a color mode. I prefer working in CMYK. If you are looking to be precise, you can always stretch the gradient panel across the screen. To delete a slider, simply select the slider and click on the trash bin icon. Play with the adjustments until you're satisfied. And that's it guys. If you try hard enough, you can get your gradient to the point that it is indiscernible from your original object. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to check out my other videos, leave a like, and subscribe.